Good evening. Hello, young man. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you? A few people have been going. Where, where have you been? I just said, well, they've been uh, they've been on been on holiday. On holiday, doing travel <laughs> things. What what travel trolls do? So um, yeah, you got back on your pitch. Everything all okay? Yeah, it's dried out a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, never rains here, you know. I think Friday it's due to rain again. I just hope it doesn't uh, put us back to square one, but we'll see. Absolutely. I've, I've got you a couple of presents. So, oh, um, how lovely! I've got you a, 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 a posh. Oh posh. my god! Because you, this 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 is for your tits and your things like that. Oh, for my pair of tits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, I have got a pair of tits. What come every yeah, morning? Yeah, lovely one. There's one in the house here. Look. Oh, that is fantastic. So I've got you that one there. Thank you so and much. And then and then this is the open the open box. So this one here. Well, I track your robins, so all being well, you're going to get your robins in that one. Fantastic. Now, now I've been told, so I put, I've got three up, and I put them all together, and Ebby said, no, don't do that. So oh, no, you've got to keep your keep robins away. Yeah, yeah, they're very territorial. Some, somewhere, I read the comments. Some, somewhere a bit bushy. Somewhere bushy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sandra's done a vlog of her bush. Her ivy, not a bush. Not a sticky willy? Not the sticky willy, no, no, oh. no, it's the, it's, it's the bush tonight. Oh, no, right. tomorrow night. Um, so yes, yeah, so um, that is very nice of you. Thank you very no, much. No, they will no, go no, very no, well no, with no. my new additions. You be, you got new additions? As you oh, I'm I'm waiting for a delivery. Uh, another one. <laughs> delivery down the man. Now, just to confirm, we're allowed dogs here, aren't we? You are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and but, some, but only with four legs. Some dogs live in kennels, don't they? They do. Yeah. No sea dogs. Sorry? No sea dogs. Sea dogs? No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, so no, no, kennels no, no, no. are alright out there, so I should imagine my well my new house is going to be okay. It's a lot smaller than a than a dog kennel anyway, it's tiny. Due to um obviously a pitch inspection, you've got your pitch inspection due shortly actually. You've not had a, you've not been inspected yet, have you? Uh, I've never been inspected in my life, no. No, 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 no. no. You'll, you'll be getting one done very shortly. Right, I'm having a day, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and find a tank. Oh, you're I'm, looking I'm, for the I'm tank. Gonna go, gonna Apparently, there the is tank. a tank around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to go and uh, I'm on the hunt for a tank. And, and your um, Stokes out there as well. Have you caught him or seen Not him? Not properly seen him, but really beautiful, lovely brown with a wisp of white on its tail and everything. Um, it is a cute thing. We need to get that on camera. I like, I like your bird scarers. I'm pretty impressed with that. What are them? Your, bird, your, bird, your new bird scarers. What bird scarers? There, that bird scarer there. Oh, that stupid thing Mazzy got. Yeah, the bird scare, that, that scare the birds away. It might actually help, you know. <laughs> it has to keep the birds off you, so when you're seeding, with that, you, you, put, you put the windmills up and it keeps the birds away. Yeah, it might keep the crows away in the morning. Oh, don't even get... Wait till you see what my next delivery is, Dan. When you see what I've got coming, you're going to want one. Not as much as when you see what I've got coming today. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Mazzy's little addition. You've got no birds. So it's quite ironic really, to get some robins in the corner of your seasonal pitch you need a tit. You need a what? A tit to get some robins. So Neil's up there using my drill, oh, my cable ties. Drill. I've got all the tools in the world. Check them out, I've got everything. I even found these, Neil, I didn't even have to borrow yours. Oh, look at them. I've yeah. got everything in here. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ah. right, so go. we've got two robins living there now. Robin who? Just two robins. Not bestirred. What? Mr. Bestirred. First name Robin. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mr. Bestirred. Where's, where's your hall of residence going to go? Your posh but I know. I've called this my attraction for, for the posh birds. I had no idea it was going to be that big. It's no, fantastic. No. So that's council estate. Yeah. Well, and, and, and then this, 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 this is this is more of a. I'm hoping the goldfinches will live in this one. Is that beautiful bird outside? That's, look, I've got your little flowers and everything for you. It is nice. You can you can clean it out at the back at the end of the year. Yeah. So um, how about here? So I think I'd go a little bit higher. So you got two yeah. you got two choices with this. You can you can hang it, or we can cable tie it. How about this? That looks like a good back. Oh, don't know if that's going to go in. 
so I'll, I'll have my, my goldfinches in there, my tits in there, and my robins in there. Uh, my insects I'm probably going to have down here, and my special new pet is going to live there. And then this is where they eat, the restaurant. I've got a cut good on blue fine dining for birds over at mine tonight. What's that then? I can't tell you what that is, that's secret isn't it? I've got some special secret uh, secret seed. Secret seed, well you yeah. just wait to see what I'm getting delivered today. Thanks. Oh, I'm getting another little house as well. Yeah, good. Um, especially good. for ladybirds. Ladybirds? Yeah. Time of year, very soon. Right, I think you've got your, um, I think you've got your little housing estate going here now. Nearly. It, well, it ain't straight, is it? They're not going to lie in a slope. I got it straight. It needs to be straight, yeah. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I, was doing a, I, was, I was just doing a bit of a box for you. <laughs> Hang on a we, might, we, we might need to extend the loop. We, we, might, need to, we might need to... No, oh, that's all right. Hang on. So go over that way, so it's out of the wind. Obviously we've got the wind coming in this way, or quite often the wind comes that way. Okay, but I can't see inside hall now from my, my spot. I need to be able to see inside hall because that's where I'm going to see them. And then I need three more blink cameras. I need one here, one here and one there. I'm actually contemplating on buying a couple of more blinks myself, funny enough. Yeah, I am. But the price of them's shot up again, I've noticed. They'll come back down. So you can move it along a little bit. Like, I mean, if you want it more down halfway. I want them... Uh, you might be able to get it onto that one. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. I need to be able to see the hole. Well, you know... It's no good having a pet if, it, if it's like a, you're only seeing back at house. You might as well go live next door. I used to know a bird next door, you know. Did you? Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit swingy that I think. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I mean if that's in the wind that's gonna be that's a bit that's a bit too swingy that. Let's try that one. Well I could maybe mm. uh, Thank you very much Neil, I'm very happy with that. Well, happy days, I think um Let's wait for your new birds to move in. Robins, goldfinches and tits. I think that's yeah. what I've decided on. Yeah, got any, any sticky willy or anything? No, no. I don't do plants. Don't do plants? No. I used to be a gardener. I don't do plants anymore. I think when Sandra comes down, maybe she can do a bit of a forage and a plant inspection and she can find if she's got any sticky willy in your garden. She can have a look. Yeah. She won't find any here. No. Well, you never know. All right, happy days. Thank Very you fine. very much. You have a lovely day with your tank. All I seem to have done all day is pick things up for Mazzy. And now she's got the most ridiculously sized clothes it bag I've ever seen in my life. This has to get in the suitcase as well. No chance. You've got it to take does. things out of the suitcase, no! remember? This is my very first time in ordering from Sheen, which I'm going to do a vlog on actually, further down the line. And this is this is the rest of it. I've got that, 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 that. This is all holiday stuff. That. Oh, the guy got those. Oh, John. Shoes and I've got that. That's only half of it though. It won't fit in the case. You're only allowed 15 kilograms. You've already got 16 and a half kilograms. Yeah, Get listen. rid. No, listen. You got an empty suitcase. Not happening. Not happening. Get rid. Get rid. Don't worry, Dan has also got a very similar order on its way from one of these incredibly cheap Chinese clothes kind of deliveries. There's things on there for like £3 for clothes. 
and I've got some cracking things. The one thing I'm really waiting for, can't wait to get my hands on, is my Donna Kebab t-shirt. Just preparing tea. Right, so what Dan's having today, he's going to try his new nacho chicken kievs. So there they are there. There we go. I stuck a load of these on because actually, I remember these being called Finders, but I think Bird's Eye have taken over these. Look how small they are. <laughs> really small and flat. But anyway, fancy those with a few chips. And we're going to try the Iceland ridiculously crispy skin on chips, which I would usually love. Dan also is going to have a pasta, this one. Chicken and mushroom bacon pasta. 40 minutes in an oven which uh, in our oven that would probably would have taken an hour or what was it what was it oh eight minutes in a microwave from frozen eight minutes from frozen so that's definitely going in the um, microwave not much meat in there that's why he's going to be having these kievs and obviously probably a couple of those okay so we have an hedgehog an hedgehog and it comes here i put out special hedgehog food it's not just any food it's hedgehog food i just sprinkle a bit here because it's in front of that camera and it does pick it up every night usually about one two o'clock it comes stays for half an hour and it comes from this direction goes that way and then comes back as another little nibble and then it goes that way again um where is it coming from I am guessing he's coming from the neighbours. I think he might be coming right across here because I think they tend to walk along a, along wall lines and things. Um, and I, th I don't know. I'm guessing he's coming under here maybe. I don't know. Big hole there. Uh, so, originally I thought it was coming from up there in the corner. So wherever he's coming from, we only get him when he's here, you see. So what my plan is, is to put my trail cam pointing that way tonight and just see him, see where he comes from, see him walking across. So we'll have uh, a view like that and we'll have a view from that camera. So what I'm doing, oh, I need to sort this out. I'm going to sort this out with Neil. Um, I need to... Uh, fix this so I can have it on a tripod but at the moment I ain't got one so I'm just gonna lean it up it's all set now I'm gonna lean it against this that's my plan and you can actually see the view through my phone through the app okay that's looking pretty good where are we I don't have the uh the van next door in that's it that's a good view so when he comes i'll just take these out of the way a few bits in front of there in front of the sensors so when he comes um we're gonna get trail cam footage and there's always that footage and i have got some great shots but i haven't been putting it in the vlogs it's more for me and mazzy's nighttime entertainment really i think that's a really good picture let me just uh, get out of the sun and i'll try and show you a bit better yeah that's a good shot isn't it so when it comes along we are gonna have some footage tonight and we'll also get footage of the crows just before i shoot them no, I can't wait till tomorrow, Mazzy. I oh. need to open them now. I've been trying to tell you to wait. I know it's more for tomorrow. We'll carry on this vlog tomorrow, but I need to open them now because I'm Go excited. Go on then. You know what I like about Amazon? They're um, brilliant. <laughs> you don't need scissors. It's just like paper seal. It's, it's good stuff. So what you got? Right. So I've got some another a new batch of brambles crunchy, crunchy. hedgehog oh, food oh i think right. they like wet food but hey yo let's oh, go eating, with it they're eating me he is yeah. eating me crunchy yeah. food uh, and what have i got in here then 
<laughs> I've got a few parcels, but I'm not going to open mine till tomorrow. Well, I'm opening mine. Nah, I'm not that keen. <laughs> oh, okay. So a hedgehog food bowl. And water? That's, no, that's water. Oh, okay. That's yeah. my water bowl for the hedgehog, and that's the food bowl for the hedgehog. You're spoiling me, it's rotten, you know. Right, so I've, I've got the hedgehog, a couple of bowls and some food. So they're like proper terracotta -y kind of no, things? No, they're not. No? Plastic. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Uh, an adapter for when we go on holiday. Yep, exact same as I've ordered. Yep. <laughs> um, right, now things get difficult. Now you need scissors, yep. I'll manage, honestly, I'll manage. I've got him worse. Oh. <laughs> what, what is it? It's for my ladybirds. Oh my in. god, I didn't know it looked like that. I didn't know it was this big actually. But <laughs> this is a ladybird box and I liked it because it looks natural, Mazzy. It? it do actually, yeah. Look at that, it's like a log. Yeah, I know someone who's got a right load of ladybirds in their awning. Who? Your mate down the road. Oh. Neil? He's got loads of ladybugs in his body. Yeah. Well they're gonna come over here now because we've got <laughs> we've got little holes for all the ladybugs. So this is all of Amazon, isn't it? <laughs> and this baby You're gonna have to come back tomorrow. This is a very Are you not opening it now? Very special delivery. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> this is what he was doing. He wanted to actually open it before the morning. So, <laughs> and... do you want some scissors? Oh. I knew you wouldn't wait till I the morning. Wait till morning well, why to did you say it. that? I need to see it. Oh my god! Oh, that's tiny. It's not tiny. It's just the right size, man. Oh my god, that's so cute! It's a house for me hedgehog, my pet hedgehog. <laughs> Spike. Well, no, 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 no. We're not calling him Spike, that's Spike. what everyone calls the hedgehog. We need you to say in the comments what should we call our pet hedgehog? Because we have now officially got a pet hedgehog. He's got his own house, his own water bowl, his own food bowl, and some ladybugs, and some food for hedgehog. What do, what do ladybirds eat? I need to get some ladybird food tomorrow. That is beautiful. Oh, and I've got some hedgehog bed coming. I've ordered a bed for him. Uh, I'm not joking, I really have. <laughs> but that won't be here till tomorrow or the day after. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Quite natural looking on top. Yeah, I do like it, yeah. That's come off though. Yeah, wow. Pins come off, look. So I need to fix that. I'll drill that tomorrow. Oh, that's beautiful. I think I have to put it out tonight, don't I? Just to see if he goes in it. Go on then. And his bowls. With his food and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've made an executive decision. I'm not going to put his house out tonight because if he comes tonight and he goes in the hall, he's going to see that it's, it's not fully furnished. Yeah. So it's probably best to wait until it's fully furnished. Yeah, because I agree. Because if he goes in, and it's an empty house. Yeah. He'll feel like a squatter and he'll think, oh, I'm not going back there again. <laughs> squatter. So let's wait till we make it homely, yeah? Totally agree, babe. So there you have it, last night's footage. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I need to change the PR, P P I R sensor on the uh, trail cam because it's far cam. too bright. Right. Um, but yeah, we got uh, the edge. Joggy came at quarter to ten last night until eleven, so he's staying a bit longer. <laughs> he's going to have his house out tonight, so. For definite, you getting your bedding today? Well, I'm going to put it out anyway. 
Oh, I can't, can't wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, the very last clip, I don't know if you heard what I shouted, but the two crows came quarter to five, quarter to six. They come at the same time every morning. Landed. I got straight on my camera and I shouted, "Keep flying!" <laughs> For some reason, I put a deep voice on, and they listen. The they shoot yeah, off. They're terrified. Up. Yeah. And uh, they didn't get any food this morning, so buzzing about that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so I've got to get these bird houses out now, Mazzy. Yes, so you've got to sort all that out, but also I need you to put a screen on my new phone. Yeah, let's do it, but, but... I got Lady my new bird. phone, I didn't tell everyone. I got me Ultra, me Samsung 23, Samsung S23 Ultra. Mm -hmm. And it's not as big as I expected. I thought you it would be like too big. It. Yeah, you actually like it. If you put it up against an S22 Plus, there's not that much in it, really. No. I'll be honest, um, like I said before, I've always had iPhone. And I'll be honest, I'm actually glad I did the change. Yeah. Really pleased that I did it. Yeah, I was getting a bit fed up with iPhone. Well chuffed with that. And the beauty <laughs> about it is now we both use the same, the same leads, leads. <laughs> yeah so there's no fuddling around yeah right ladybugs yeah what about it where are you putting it i don't know so what are you thinking honey oh are you hiding the insect one insects like dark and dingy don't they yeah that, that's the right ladybirds place don't. oh that's where you've put it i couldn't even see it what i didn't <laughs> realize is you get free ladybirds with it I thought that was quite cute. cool. Even little insects can live in there as well, I suppose. No, can't they? insects live next door. Oh, the hotel next door. Yeah. Insects are going to live in there. Um, because we wanted uh, insects for the hedgehog who's going to live down here. Oh, is he going to live there? He's going to live there under the birds. But he comes in from over there. Yeah, and he's going to stop here for night. He's not going to have to go out anymore. He's just going to live there, come out, have some food, go back in. Oh my goodness. Have you seen any action on your new birdhouses? Um, not the new ones. I did see action on this this morning. Did you? Oddly enough, it's the uh, tits which are showing a lot of interest in that one. Oh. And funnily enough, I did actually. I saw the two tits just around here as well. But that's a robin one, so they won't use that. But they yeah. weren't over there. And I'm serving that for goldfinch. It's starting to look like a pet zoo in here, isn't it, yeah, kind well, of thing? I don't need anything else now. I've got everything I need. Just my hedgehog house out and my, his bowl. <laughs> you need to fix it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a shame it came a bit broken. Is the pin still on it? It's only one oh, panel glue? pin. No, it's one panel pin there. That's all right. It's natural, isn't it? Yeah, Obviously. I think it's nice because this is, is this real? I think this is real, is it? Real wood, of course it is. You get like little insects living in no. there as well. No, they live in insect house above his <laughs> top flat. Go and put it down in. Remember, we need a name, guys. Please give us names in the, uh, in the comments. He's going to live here. Still got Neil's branches from last year. <laughs> oh, I can't really. We can't watch him now, really. Yeah, we can because I'm going to get a, another camera. Just leave it here forever. Oh. Uh, I don't think he's going to like it out in the open like that. I think he's going to want it a bit more discreet. Oh, he's, got, he's near a wall. He's going to love it. Once his bed's in there. Just trust me, yeah? So I'm going to give him some of his new food, just a bit of a change. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want the same food every day, do you? Now I was looking it up last night, mealworms, I wondered if they ate mealworms, because they like grubs and things, don't they, I think. Yeah. And I looked up mealworms, because I've got, I've got loads of them, and it said, don't give them too many mealworms, because one, it can damage the bones if they have too many, oh. and two, they're highly addictive. Really? To hedgehogs, it's like cocaine. Oh god. So if you give it too many mealworms, it'll stop eating all the food. It'll only eat meal mealworms. Oh dear. So I'm yeah. just going to sprinkle a quick. It says you can give them a few. 
I'm just going to sprinkle a couple. Let's have a look what this food looks like. I'm guessing it's going to be a bit like what we've been using. Can't get in it. Oh, it's smaller, smaller bits. Whoops. Oh, that's enough. Whoa, that's loads. Yeah, that'll do. It so, just looks like little catty biscuits really, doesn't it? Yeah, just a nice size for him. Yeah. Right, sprinkle mm. a few uh, mealworms on there. Well, you can't take them off your bird table. That's kind of like passing diseases from one thing to another, right? I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> I'll flip them out of here because these are wet. That'll be good for him having a bit Ooh, of wet. Like really? Them. Yeah. I'm only going to give him about five. So I don't want him to get addicted to my mealworms. <laughs> now I'm just I'm gonna teach you something. You know, I have done my research. I don't just think I'm gonna have a pet. You can't just <laughs> buy a pet, they're not just for fun. You've got to look after them. So I'm there's his water and his food. Just show them the mealworms, Mazzy. Yeah, can you show them? <laughs> there, look, I've just sprinkled a few on top. So there's that, there's his water. Now, what did you say? I Put said, a few well, in his house. Just so he understands that the house is there. Right. Yeah. Um, no. Firstly, hedgehogs don't like their food next to the house. Okay, maybe this is too close. It then. is too close. Is um, but I'm just putting it there for now, just so he knows there is a house there. But he hasn't come this far down, so he might still only get as far as there, wondering where the food Well, is. no, he goes off camera down here. Does he? Yeah. So I'm guessing he'll still find that. I'm sure he will. So I'm hoping he's going to, you know, have some mealworm, uh, a few biscuits, a drink of water, have a look in there. I don't think he'll stay there for quite a while. I need to get his bedding in first. But he can check it out to see what he thinks, and he'll let us know. I don't know what's cuter, having a hedgehog pet or you. <laughs> Me? You are so cute, you really are. So yeah, that's us set up for the season now, we don't need anything else. We've got, where are they? One, two, three bird houses, lady bird house, insect house, hedgehog house and restaurant. And cafe for hedgehog. Can we give a few thanks? Absolutely. People who gave us super thanks yesterday. Aww, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. To Neil Adams. Thank you, Neil. Lovesick Crazy. Thank you, Lovesick. <laughs> Lynn and Tony. Thank you, Lynn and Tony. <laughs> and Justin Denmark. Thank you, Justin. Justin. Is Justin Denmark Justin at the moment? Justin Denmark. Justin Denmark. That's his name. Justin. Denmark. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very, very much for your support. Absolutely. Just thought I should give a quick update on the Fitville shoes, which uh, we're reviewing. So here they are now. Very mucky. You know why they're so mucky? Because I've done four and a half trillion steps. That's uh, 65,000 miles since they sent me them. They still haven't fallen off. Uh, the brilliant beat that Neil just a quick funny story about that last night so about four days ago I went into a loft and the loft ladder came down it's one of them where you press the side to release the legs if, you, if that makes sense and I released the wrong leg and it came shooting down and it hit me right in the side there and it really hurt at the time but didn't know it had left a mark going to bed last night taking my clothes off and Mazzy looked at me she said what have you done and she started bawling her eyes out what have you done what have you done and she's looking at me like that and I looked down and I saw this big scar. It looks like I've had heart surgery or something. <laughs> She's laughing up there, look. That was embarrassing. You 
freaked out, didn't you, when you saw I that last night? I literally thought maybe it looked like you'd been stabbed and got a scar. It looks like kind of stitches. It does. It does. <laughs> it, I was. I was actually crying, you know. It yeah. just shocked me to see it. I was like, yeah. oh my God. And I'll be honest, when I saw it, it freaked me out a bit as well because I didn't know, even know there were a mark there. Uh, it like hurt my rib, you know, so I thought it was like my rib what had hurt a bit, but yeah, just a funny little story. Poor Mazzy were crying her eyes out thinking I was stabbed. Which is funny because I was stabbed in my dream the other night, eight times by a psycho woman. Hey, where are you? I'm here, I'm trying to sort. Oh, you're having a laugh, man. Yeah, well, this is the stuff that came. No, yesterday. don't be ridiculous, no, woman. No, I need to. <laughs> no, Mazzy, you don't understand. 15 what? kilogram is all you're allowed. I know, but once they're folded up and put in. They're still going to weigh exactly the same. You were at 16.7 kilogram before you got your delivery yesterday. How much room are you going to have in your suitcase left? That much. Get rid. Come on, get rid. <laughs> Charity shops. <laughs> this is all new. So Mazzy did actually just film herself opening her clothes from Sheen, is it called? One of these chi Chinese cheap companies. Uh, so she made a separate video for that for her channel. She hasn't done a video for, ooh, it must be nearly a year. Uh, so not sure when that's going on in the next couple of days. So look out for that Mazzy X channel and I'm expecting today are coming my Chinese clothes which includes my Donna Kebab t-shirt I can't wait I am so excited I'm gonna look fantastic everyone is gonna be looking at me saying he is the best dressed man on campsite I'm gonna leave her in there she's been in there all morning she'll be in there all night she'll be in there until we go on holiday Mazzy, say goodbye to everybody. Bye bye, everybody. Leave her with her clothes. Yeah, leave me to pack. On the positive side, tomorrow, well, today, but in tomorrow's vlog, you will see me in my new clothes, including my Donna Kebab t shirt. <laughs> and my duck one. Yeah, that's going to be fun. And I've even got a pineapple one. A pineapple one? Yep. You ain't hanging around with me wearing that. Yeah, well, we didn't know that an upside down, down pineapple means you're a swinger. Didn't know that before I ordered a pineapple t-shirt, but hey. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love ya.